This podcast is sponsored by Happy Warrior Kava. Be a happy warrior, drink, relax, and enjoy the strong and smooth taste of the best-selling kava in the islands. Happy Warrior Kava. Aloha and welcome to another installment of HNN Overtime, the Hawaii News Now Sports Podcast. I am Kyle Chinan, resident sports reporter, joined as always by Sienna Pilliton, Davis Pittner. But as you can see, if you're oh, watching the video one. version, oh we have our, hey, an extra guy. Drew Davis. Drew Davis. Hey, Drew Davis. Hey, Drew Davis. Hey, Drew Davis. Hey, guys. What's going on? Thanks yes. for letting me on after I basically begged to be yeah. on. <laughs> if, you guys, yeah, yeah. Yeah. if you guys don't know it for weeks, <laughs> Drew has been asking to be uh-huh. on the show. And it's here. Kind of embarrassing when you say it like that. No, <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> He's a fan. And we appreciate it. We appreciate it, it, Drew. There is a specific reason why we brought him on, but we'll get to that later. Stay tuned for that. But guys, lots of sports happening this week. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I I also want to say, Drew, you made it on to overtime before you made it on to Cheap Eats. So Uh, uh, I just think we're we're a little bit, we're uh, we're getting there. There's been two segments that I've been begging to get. (laughs) Overtime and Cheap Eats. We're honored. Well, Overtime now, for yes. very happy. Guy yes. Hoggy, are you listening? Yes. You, you listening, gotta, guy? You listening, guy? Mm, I don't know. But yes, busy, <laughs> busy, busy couple of weeks of sports. We're going to start things off. We're going to chug right along to the Sony Open that wrapped up this past Sunday. Man, I was out there all week. And besides getting heat stroke, probably, from standing <laughs> in the sun for 18 hours a day, it was a crazy tournament. And it wasn't just me getting delirious from the sun. <laughs> there were so many lead changes. Going into the final day, it was a two-way tie between Keegan Bradley and Grayson Murray. And they end up making it into a playoff, guys. And if you're not too familiar with golf, um, if you two guys finish in regulation with the exact same score or multiple people as a three-person playoff you get one extra hole and Grayson Murray sinks this basically 40 footer drops and it was just a crazy scene and you know everyone kind of thinks golf is like a quiet boring you know kind of sport but is that what it's like it sounded like, <laughs> yeah, it was like i don't know what that means it sounded crazy on the 18th uh green when he sinks this putt right here people were going bananas and i was like my jaw was on the <laughs> floor the course. <laughs> it, it might have happened but shout out to the volunteers and security they kept the they, they ran a tight ship all week i will say they've been doing an awesome job but man the 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 scene on 18 was was crazy and I, I mean i don't know how many of you guys do you play golf Drew? yeah i played in high school oh oh what yeah. wait a minute that's why we brought this him is on a- there it is <laughs> there it I is was, just learning more i haven't about. played much since um high school i played a little bit in college just like with my buddies wow but, a college okay. athlete college no. athlete no. No. <laughs> just oh, in high school just, oh okay okay just, okay, just, okay. Got it, got like we go to the course you know have have some good times but <laughs> okay but i mean right. yeah just just we didn't know <laughs> just really impressive by grace and murray to win it that in that fashion i mean like you said you you golf a bit and i've i golf for fun as well and davis some you've occasionally well, yeah <laughs> yeah yeah see if you go away is oh, does does mini golf count or is that like I mean, I think so. It does. It, it does, does count. Yeah. yeah it's I mean, I'm maybe sure a little Grayson bit. used his mini putt <laughs> yeah. skills to sink that. That was an impressive putt. But that was pretty good, and that was so cool seeing. I mean, that was like thousands of people. Oh yeah, over there, right? A, I mean, just looking at the crowd, like a great crowd, and like um, there's ropes along the the hole, so like you know, players are on inside, fans are out there. It was sardines, like packed to the gills, <laughs> packed um, to the gills never <laughs> along that the road. <laughs> Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll be better <laughs> next time, guys. I'll be better next time. But, yes, there were so many people just out there watching just really competitive golf all week. And, yeah, that last hole, the playoff, just a sea of people watching this and just eruption of, like, of, of crazy, crazy reactions, man. It was that crazy. That is so cool. Well, con- you know, big congrats to Grayson for uh, getting first place. But talking about big crowds, there's mm-hmm. going to be a big crowd oh. Oh. at the Poly oh. Bowl this week, yeah. everyone. You like that transition? Okay. That was a pretty good transition, if I say so myself. Let's clap it up for Davis on the transition <laughs> Thank you, everyone. There. Thank you. Uh- Yes, that's right. The Poly Bowl is Friday. We got Team Malka versus Team Makai. This is going to be a huge game 
Kicking off, we want to talk about multiple five-star recruits, but one four-star recruit that we have to talk about is Isaac Havika Wilson. If that last name sounds familiar, that's because he is the younger brother of Zach Wilson, the New York Jet. Yeah, also 2020 college, a Polynesian College Football Player of the Year, Zach Wilson. Um, but it, it, it's, it's been really cool to, to see all these guys out of practice. A um, couple other guys you have on Team Makai. You have Dylan Riola, another last name that should sound familiar to Hawaii fans. He is the son of Dominic Riola, the former St. Louis pretty much high school football legend um, and longtime NFL offensive lineman with the Detroit Lions. There he is right there on screen with the visor. That's Another player over there, um, that's also Mike Alahado. He is a UH commit. Lots of commits, guys. Just the star power, I think, is the yeah. biggest we've seen in the seven-year history of this game. Um, like you said, multiple five-star guys and four-star guys. Um, I think the Polyball guys have kind of nicknamed the the game Five Star Island, which... I like it. Five Star Island. Five Star that's Island. Good. So, I mean... I, it's it's been cool to see um, all these guys. I do want to ask you guys the helmets. What do we think? I like them. You know what? Uh, there might be different opinions, but I I can kind of dig the pattern on them. See? See? Um, the, I'm not a huge fan of these, but <laughs> I, those look like Kaimuki. Low key? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but well, I do like the neon in terms of just like if I had to own a helmet myself, it would be cool to have one of those mm-hmm. like sitting in the back of my closet. But <laughs> what about the neon cleats too? The neon That's cleats kinda... are a bit flashy. I like the neon. I you like that, the neon? Yeah. Too? I think yeah. It looks okay. Cool. Yeah. I mean, I do like that visor. The visor, the visor with that with is pretty yeah, good. It's, pretty it's good. sauce. All the all the QBs on <laughs> Team <sauce>. Makai. <laughs> it's it is sauce. It's sauce. That's how you it's describe sauce. it. Um, all the QBs on Team Makai, which is Dylan Raiola, Alejado, and Ty McCutcheon from Punahou, they all have tinted visors on this week. It's pretty it's nice. sick. But it's also like when I get tight shots and I go back and look at the footage, I have to be like, who is that? Because I could <laughs> yeah, not no, see their yeah. face. Um, I will say the that one helmet, the 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 green kind of matches ours. I think if you slap an overtime logo on it, Ooh. put it up on the set. Yeah. Just saying, guys, Poly Bowl guys, I know you I know you know me. Come on. They know him. A shout out. In, in Give, good us faith. Yeah. Give us a helmet. Give us a helmet. I asked nicely. I asked nicely. But, yes, yeah, it's cool. going to be a fun game. Um, and we want to give a quick shout out, Davis, okay. to speaking of someone who's got game, Pafele <laughs> Ashlock. He is the FWAA, the Football Writers Association of America. He is a freshman All-American. And Davis, you want to go over these stats? You're the stat oh, guy. Do you want me to go over the stats? Give Kyle, it to I, us, will, Davis. I will give you the stats. 83 receptions, 832 yards, 9 touchdowns, and he was ranked 63 in receiving yards in the nation. McBride was just a little bit ahead of him, but well-deserved uh, honor for him, All-American. I mean, he re- he's received other ones uh, before, but, I mean, he is a standout receiver for the Bows. Just all around a guy that they're going to want to keep for the future. And, yeah, you know, if they want to succeed, just keep giving him the ball, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> Feed Pafele. Yeah. Feed Pafele. He's great. Isn't yeah. he from Texas? He is a Texas guy. He is guy. a Texas he is, guy. Yeah. He, uh, yeah, he is a, a Texas native. Same with uh, Braden Shager. There's a couple of Texas it's guys, a couple on, Texas the, guys. Yeah. on the Hawaii roster. Oh, cool. Yeah. They're just like you, man, heading out, heading out to the islands, chasing <laughs> their dreams. I love it out here. <laughs> I is. Uh, Texas is pretty cool. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on. Wait, Kyle, you know, talking about, oh, you know, talking about Texas guys. This is a transition. Talking about oh, Texas we guys, we have to talk about yeah. this yeah. Texas guy. Hey. Oh, that's yes. a good super. I love the super. <laughs> I, um, We're going right into it, Drew. <laughs> into the NFL playoffs. We will start off, obviously, with the Cowboys and Green Bay Packers playoff wild card game this past weekend. Drew, <laughs> Drew, why are you wiping? Is, yeah, this is, an, uh, this is an embarrassing, uh, embarrassing moment. Here we go. I, uh, before uh, I was going to come on overtime, <laughs> mm-hmm. past couple of weeks, I was like, Oh my gosh, the Cowboys are going to the Super Bowls. I even told you I had yes, bought in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. My mm-hmm. my bracket for the playoffs mm-hmm. had the Cowboys going all the way. And just the 
first round exit, first round murder, like you would say. Yeah. It's yeah. It's disgusting. I uh, did go to the Detroit Lions game. That was me and my yes. uh, my buddy. We went over Nice. Um, I believe that was right after Christmas. Yeah. Um, and just watching that game, watching all of my hopes and dreams fall apart. Aww. Oh, I'm, I'm, oh. I'm, I'm sorry, oh, Drew. There's, uh, there's Dak. I know uh, a lot of people are upset with him. I, uh, I, I could see. Uh, I'm more upset with I feel like McCarthy. Yeah, I feel like McCarthy yeah. needs yeah. to go. Um, but I know he's entering his last year in his contract, and Jerry's keeping him around. Um, what do you guys think? Because I, I know I'm upset, and as a fan, I'm emotional. What do you guys think about the Cowboys? Well, I thought it was a done deal that McCarthy was out. After right. This. Yeah. So this, I truly don't think you can recover from. Look at his face. I mean, yeah, yeah, he yeah, knew. Mm-hmm. And just, just the news that we got yesterday – um, we were kind of talking about it in our Slack same channel. Yeah. That, <laughs> yeah, same that, one. Like, to retain him is crazy to me. I don't know what Jerry's thinking. I mean, I know they're a loyalty, you know, kind of franchise, but that was an all-time bad move. I thought I for sure they were going to replace him. Yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. if you look at it, he's 1-3 in, in the postseason. Mm-hmm. And having a blowout loss kind of to the Packers, I thought for sure this was going to be the thing to – get him removed. Yeah. But obviously he said something during that meeting to Jerry that brought back some confidence about, hey, I mean, next season is our year. Like, it, let's get it going. Especially with the market of head coaches that are available right now. You yeah. have Mike Vrabel, Bill Belichick. Bill Belichick. I, I, don't I, oh, oh, I don't want Belichick. Oh! I don't want Belichick. Well, okay, Dang, explain. Drew. Yeah, explain. I, I, I feel like Belichick, a lot of his success came from Brady. Uh-huh. Uh, I realize he's a good coach. Like, the coaching plays in a lot. But, like, Brady was the reason Belichick was so good with the Patriots. And I think that kind of shows after Brady left. Brady left to go to the Bucks, won a Super Bowl with them, and Belichick's struggling. He's leaving. I don't know why everybody is going, let's bring Belichick to Dallas. Jerry and him are going to butt heads. Yeah, that's true. It's that is true. It's not going to be a good good relationship. Jerry already micromanages the team. Mm, so mm-hmm. I, I, I don't want Belichick. And I know we're keeping McCarthy. I just – I, it feels very similar to the Jason Garrett situation where we kept Jason Garrett around for way too long. Mm-hmm. Yep. You know, I know Jason and um, Jerry have a very different relationship than McCarthy and Jerry do, but I I, I want like a full, just like a reset. I want right. clean house. Coach. Sure, yeah. I don't think Dak's the guy. I like Dak. He's he's been very fun to watch. I just something gets to him in the playoffs. It's just. I don't know. He gets nervous or something. This was the first game we've lost at home since the 2022 season. So. Jeez. Yeah. Yep. Something interesting. I, I was looking at Sports Illustrated, and uh, Robert Griffin the mm-hmm. said that he should have been replaced. Mike should have been replaced by Deion Sanders. Oh, the, this I, is I now, mean, the Colorado no, 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 Colorado State coach. So I said this. I, I was talking to my dad about this. So I was like, "How cool would it have, be to have prime time come to Dallas? It'd be it pretty." <laughs> It'd be pretty neat, but I, I I don't know. I after like watching Dion as the Colorado coach this uh-huh. year, I, I don't know how that would go over with it's such a big change from college football. Right. Going yeah. in. I know he's got experience, but I, I don't know if Dion would be the, well, the right move. What yeah. do you think about a Harbaugh? I, yeah, oh, like Harbaugh. Harbaugh. I, I, yeah. would, I would like that, but I like Jerry. we got to stick yeah. with McCarthy. <laughs> I know, I know. At least for one more year. Yeah. Yeah. I know Jerry yeah. Jones watches this podcast, so I think he takes Yeah, Jerry. he definitely. When, Jerry. When yes. the salt and pepper on his McMuffin. Do you, you ever watch that clip from Hard Knocks like two years ago? He had like a – he was in his office on the phone like Godfather style. He had a – like mm-hmm. a, a McMuffin out of the wrapper on like a clean plate, and he was like on the phone, like speakerphone, da, 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 opens the sandwich, salt and pepper. <laughs> Billionaires, they're just and I'm like, like us. They can do like, whatever I they want. So, he's so out of touch with like <laughs> us, it's crazy. Yeah, I, I he comments on these videos, right? Yeah, 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 yeah totally. All he's the, the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. yeah. a big UH fan. He's a big. I have to I have to say a compliment though, Drew. Your shirt. Uh, yes, let's you know, talk uh, about it. That, my, uh, my, that's pretty good. This is one of my Aloha shirts. My it's collection is growing. My parents got me this. I like nice. It. They got me this in a uh, New Jersey for Christmas. Oh. And, um, what jersey is it? Uh, no, I got a New- Romo jersey. So. 
That is, nice. It was the one in that photo. Oh. That photo. oh. A new Romo. A new I Romo. 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 <laughs> it's like an oxymoron. Oh, wait, let's bring that back up. <laughs> there it, there is. it is. It is there nice. It is. I like that. That's me and my uh, my best friend from college. Luke. Oh, nice. We both went to the game together. Um, but what was I going to go? It was related to the coaching. I had something to say. It's all I good. It's all good. It's all good. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was I was about to say like wouldn't a new Romo jersey just be a blazer with the CBS logo on it? <laughs> that is I good. like watching him. I feel like he's a, he's a fun Oh, like I don't know, Jim. I don't know. Is he? <laughs> I don't know. He like can see the future. He really is like he got that crystal ball like yeah. like watch the watch the linebacker. He's going to do this and it's just like kind of crazy yeah, it's crazy said. yeah but it's also crazy that like he can spot what the defense does but he still gets picked off when he was playing yeah I mean, hmm. it's different <laughs> it's, it's different when you're out there i i so i remember what i was going to say in relation to the coach i don't want dion i don't want mccarthy you know who i would be willing oh. to oh to who bring, is it drew to bring back jimmy johnson really yeah. jimmy johnson okay so okay the, the reason that? for this obviously he's the head coach in the 90s. Right. Um, won the, won the s- several Super Bowls with the, the Cowboys. The reason for this is because when I was at the, the Lions game, mm-hmm. it was they were inducting uh, Jimmy into the Dallas Cowboys mm-hmm. ring of honor. Right. And getting to see him, like, like giving, like, a speech about, like, how awesome the Dallas Cowboys. How about them Cowboys? Oh, you know? <laughs> and, then, and then during the halftime um, – uh, against the Packers game, the, like he was giving a speech like to the, everybody watching, like uh-huh. like he was talking to the players. I, yeah. I, I don't know. I've realized it's kind of he like may be too old. Yeah. But yeah. He may not yeah. know the game as well as he used to. I think it would be interesting. It'd I think be that, very nostalgic. It, yeah. yeah. Definitely yeah. nostalgic. Think of how cool it'd be if he comes back. People are talking about let's bring Belichick. Belichick's an old coach too, you know. <laughs> right. Right. Let's yeah. bring back an even older coach. Bring back Jimmy Johnson. <laughs> Just he keep wins going the back. Super Bowl. Something has that to work. Crazy. Something has to work. <laughs> Something <laughs> has to stick. Yeah. That's. I, I think it'd be cool. I'm very That's, nostalgic. Very yeah. fan of you to say that. Yeah. You know, yeah. like I can right. see the front office. I don't know if they'd be in love with that. Obviously, he loves his Cowboys. <laughs> yeah. So that's a huge win there. But I feel like the game has just changed so yeah. much. You're right. Yeah, right. Yeah, I think it has. Crazy. But right. Drew, hopeful for uh, next year. What do you What do you think? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh. I'm oh. I uh, I usually towards the end of the season I'll get excited. We beat up on bad teams earlier in the season. Then we have maybe we'll get, the game that got me this year was us beating the Eagles at home. I was uh-huh. like, all right, this is it. And then the Eagles fell off, and then ultimately we, we fell off as well. Yeah. It's just. I, I, I don't I'm tired of the same thing happening over oh, and over. True. Again. I'm tired of it. I'm tired, tired of the same thing it, happening over and over again. But the NFC least is gonna end up. The NFC least Yeah, the oh. NFC least. So. Yeah. When you beat up on the commanders twice a year it's, oh, yeah. it's a little bit different, huh? Well, hasn't the NFC East not had the same like um same winner leader, division. winner division? Right, leader. yeah, because yeah. um Eagles, Cowboys, like for like yeah. S- like last ten years or yeah. something like that. Yeah, what yeah. If the Commanders come around and win next. Year? <laughs> the Honestly, I'm not mad at that. That'd be that'd be that shake things up in in that division for sure. But they're also sure. looking for a coach, right? Um, they, I don't think they fire him or I don't not? think officially. I think oh. it was one of the rumored things that they were going to let go of Rivera. I, love that guy so much. I do love. I really want him to succeed. So I love Ron yeah. Rivera, but probably like kind of to your point, I feel like he's kind of getting too old for this type of game like he's just kind of part of that last era of football yeah yeah the 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 mcdaniels yeah yeah Yeah. it's been interesting i've been seeing a lot of reports about the chargers too and about people going over yeah i don't know about as much harbaugh because i've heard that harbaugh is like getting into more talks with michigan about signing a new contract yeah Yeah, remaining over there but i guess the charges are looking around yeah i know who knows yeah they were they were um they post a lot on their social media (laughs) and so they post like whenever they do like uh interviews so they just interviewed vrabel and then they just interviewed harbaugh so like they're figuring it out and you know i'm a i'm a justin herbert fan i like justin herbert i want him to succeed but like yeah it was something had to give in in los angeles for them but 
We're not going to talk about teams that aren't in the playoffs like my Seattle Seahawks. Well, thank you, Drew, for talking about the Cowboys. Yeah. We will have to see how they do next year. But we have to continue on with the playoffs and with a team that is in the playoffs still. And we seem <laughs> to talk about them every single Quite a every, lot. Every, every single every week. week. Sienna, take it away. Well, my Chiefs are moving on, if y'all haven't heard. Um, it was the coldest game in was it is it just Kansas City history or so of all time? It was in Kansas City history, I think the yeah. coldest, but it was the fourth coldest game in NFL history. Wow. What's the yeah. coldest? Do we do we have um, I believe it was I think it was like negative eleven. It was the snowball. Some, yeah, it was the snowball, but I believe the Cowboy or the either the Packers or one of the NF, the NFC teams were in it. Yeah, wow. but well, when a uh, yeah. wind chill was a very big thing in yes. this game, too. Uh, there were reports that this game, the wind chill, dipped to negative thirty that's yeah. degrees. No and that's why I thought they were gonna move it. Not that that would have helped, but they moved the Bills game. Right. So that's why I was like, maybe mine would get postponed as well. But it did not. But it didn't matter. Um, my Chiefs look good. Solid. Yeah. Yeah. Solid. I'd pretty say good. solid. I, All right. I think it was more Miami looked bad, honestly. <laughs> Miami, it, Miami froze up. I mean, that's why hey, you guys hey, look at Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. This is I your thing. Guy. Yeah. First alert. Yeah. You, you that's a first the alert color. right there. But, um, yeah, I think Miami just came out. You could tell they were just uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. They weren't able to move the ball. Um, their defense couldn't stop anything. And, you know, the Chiefs were having a rough season this year on offense. And... We looked good, mainly because Miami let us run up and down that field. I am very scared this week against Buffalo. Against, against Buffalo. No, I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. In Buffalo yeah. on the road, and um, I, I, I don't want to. I was talking to Corbin about this earlier. I think this is where our season ends. No. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh. I'm, well, not that I want it to. Obviously, it's just like my. That's my expectation. Right. It's just right. Like, you sure. Know what? This is it. This is good season. We'll take it and run with it. That right. was a that was a really sad game for the Dolphins. Obviously, Hawaii's Tua uh, is out. It had me thinking though, like what was going on in his mind, and whether he was thinking like you know, hi, you know, it's me. Hi, I'm the problem. It's me. Please, right? Davis. That was so, what Davis. That's so, what was that, that it? Was it? That was what Whoa, wait, guys. Oh, what is oh, this? Goodness. Yes, that's right. Uh, Taylor Swift though, she was at the game, and was she? <laughs> no. The good luck no. that the Chiefs needed. Sienna, how do you like that all the Chiefs talk <laughs> has turned into Taylor Swift talk? I hate it. And Drew, you know because you obviously are an h and Overtime fan. Oh, yes. You hear every episode I go in on these two. I cannot stand it. I like them separately. I really do. I, I don't hate on her at all. It's just them getting together and the constant cutaway shots. Yeah. I just It's so unnecessary. Like... I think last week or this past um, Sunday or Saturday, the NFL had tweeted like some ridiculous tweet of her walking through the tunnel. And yeah. it was like, Taylor Swift has arrived for her NFL debut or NFL playoff, playoff debut, debut, which is ridiculous because she's not playing in the game. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Um, and then what are you guys talking about? There was that clip of um, her and Brittany Mahomes swag surfing in the in the. Which I don't oh, mind yeah. doing that. Like you can, when you're in the booth, whatever you can act a fool. Like that's your mm, thing. That's pretty good. But walking through the tunnel and getting in, like a shot of this like <laughs> intern following you through to the tunnel is just ridiculous. I gotta it, say, it all ridiculous. the cutaway shots to her kind of get annoying after it's, a while. I mean, kind of. Like, it's kind of like, yeah, we kind of get it now. She's in the stand. Uh, she's dating, you know, like, Travis let's Kelsey. Let's check in with what Taylor Swift is doing. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> why? Why are we checking in? Let's give us some Taylor Swift highlights. Yes. But I will say her her jacket's nice. It was made by Kyle yes. Juszczyk. Use check, I think. Use check. Yeah. Life. I saw he was going around and, like, tweeting uh, on under, uh, under yes. all of yeah. the photos yeah. of yeah. that jacket. It's like, made yeah. by my wife. Yeah, yeah. that's why I'm that's like, really good. happy because those are obviously really nice and she makes jackets for small bios and all these like NFL wives. Uh, yeah, NFL yeah. wives. And yeah. So shout out to her. She, I, I keep seeing her TikToks pop up and I saw the one where she was making that, yes. that jacket. It's I really cool. In the, yeah, they're yes, so they're, cool. It's really cool the way she does it. So yeah. shout out to her. I would love an 87 jacket of my own but i don't know where i would wear it to it's so hot here. it's too hot for, <laughs> a, for a puffer out here it it's just yeah i mean 
Shout out, shout out to um, I think it's Kristen, right? Kristen, yeah. Kristen yeah. Kyle Juszczyk, the fullback for the San Francisco 49ers. They're set to play the uh, the Green Bay Packers That'll in the divisional. Yeah. Could have been the yeah the, uh, the Cowboys, okay. but we're we're it's moving okay. on. Okay. We're moving you know, on. Maybe on. if Taylor Swift was dating like a cowboy, you know, do you yes. do you <laughs> think yeah, that do you uh, think, you think that would have been win. some more yeah. good luck? Yeah. yeah. The script guys. Come yeah. On. yeah. Love Change that. the Jerry script. Would yeah. Love We'd be that. having Taylor Swift with maybe. the big star, you know. That's the yes. that's on the her, first uh, thing my uh, <laughs> my dad said when I was texting him about the game. He's like, Taylor's just gotta date a cowboy. Yes. Yeah. And then we'd do well. Is Leighton Vander Esch available? Yeah. <laughs> like, you know? Or um, who's your tight end? Like, is Ferguson. It, is, oh, Ferguson. yeah, Ferguson. Ferguson. I heard yeah. Ferguson's dating one of the Cardaver twins, the basketball Oh, the, oh. yes, yeah, yeah from Miami. Right. Yeah. So right. maybe C.D. Lamb. <laughs> C.D. <laughs> C.D. Lamb had that infamous uh, draft day video of him That's snatching right. the phone oh, yeah. out of his, I, out of his that was girlfriend's him. I hand. I totally forgot about that. That was CD. Remember that, yeah. Just like, nope. <laughs> yeah, so I don't think that would fly with Taylor, no, but uh-uh. yeah. there's plenty to choose from. Plenty. There I, is I, plenty. I, going back to the Chiefs game, though, did that, that one drive where Mahomes is in the red zone and he runs it, and his helmet just shatters. Oh it just yeah, shows. I know. I was just gonna say that. Yeah, it was yeah. crazy. Yeah, I was just gonna say that. That um, was crazy. I, I, I do. I'm gonna drop a little bit of knowledge here. So that Hello. type of helmet that he's wearing is a Vices V2, and those are specifically like those are kind of the newer end of helmets where it's like more on the, the head brain safety. So, the shell. I've, I've, I've taught. I've like actually seen one. I've never worn one myself when I played, but I've seen one and I've like kind of interact. The shell is not like it's hard plastic. Like you've seen a football helmet, Davis. You had football helmets. You, you know, it's like hard plastic yeah, shells. Yeah, yeah. It's actually almost not pliable, but it's flexible. So like when you when you take impacts, it's supposed to like move and like absorb the hit for like the brain. So like I was thinking with that frigid temperature, it probably what, hardened it yeah. and like made it brittle almost, and it yeah. shattered like ice. That so is that very was dangerous. it was crazy to see. But also shout out to the equipment guys because you don't realize that they just have helmets they, on helmets. Yeah, on yeah, that. they're on always deck. ready. I was like, we need to pause the game, and <laughs> like, man just threw him one, and I was like, all right, let's keep it going. They're it's, always at the ready. It, it was really funny, just that cutaway scene to uh, shot to the to the sideline, and he's like, I don't remember my, my helmet, and then good, new helmet. Good impression. That was a good impression. <laughs> Good Kermit the Frog by you. That was Solid pretty good. Kermit. Well, the Chiefs are gonna have to keep playing in the cold though. Um, mm-hmm. I'm just gonna play this because I mean. Looking back Buffalo at that, wheels. looking back at that Bills game, oh my um, I know th- these videos Yo, have been going that's around. Crazy. Um, just the amount of snow at that stadium. They of course had to ask for fans to help move the snow help? from the stadium. Yeah, sure. Bills I mafia. guess they were. Yeah, Bills they were high. Mafia. Bills mafia is crazy. Yeah, I mean they were they were paying uh, people twenty dollars an hour, but I'm $20. fairly certain the fans would have done it for free. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, you're right. You offer and somebody the opportunity to just go hang out with <laughs> yeah, you. Right, right, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. to be field level yeah. on the yeah. field. Like, <laughs> like, yeah, I'd, I'd be doing that for free. But I guess just today I was looking again, the Bills, there is more snow at the stadium. So oh, they are boy. looking for more people to shovel snow. It, I saw, I'm, I'm reading your little stat sheet here. It also says it came with complimentary drinks and breakfast. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I mean, sign me up. I mean, they're like, is Josh Allen going to be there for the, for the, for the coffee hour? <laughs> <laughs> he just shows up and he's pouring people hot cups of coffee. Yeah, yeah. Like, thanks, guys. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. Appreciate oh, it. That would be the best game. I'll be yeah. like, hey, you guys need snow shoveled anytime? Yeah, sign, sign me up. I'll, I'll go over That's there. That's crazy. I can't. I cannot believe people playing this. So that's another. I, uh, yeah, that's a good snow game. Is fun though. Yeah. It is once fun. In a, yeah. Once a so year. Fun to watch. Yeah. Is I it going to be fun though that. for Sienna watching her Chiefs play out there it, in the snow? It's never fun watching my Chiefs play in the playoffs. I just get so <laughs> anxious. Like my mm-hmm. anxiety just flares. But it normally, normally I get so anxious when my expectations are high. Mm-hmm. Going into this game with just kind of like, all right. You know, we'll just see what happens. Right. I'm not as nervous as I would be. Like, past Super Bowls, when we're, like, going on a run and I know that team can win a Super Bowl, that's when I get, like, that, what was it, like, two years ago, that 12-second game with oh, you know, against yeah. the Bills? Yeah, yeah. That, I was crying in my kitchen, folks. <laughs> I was just I, a mess. 
I remember last Super Bowl Sunday, Chiefs Eagles, and we worked yeah. that day. We both that worked on that work. Sunday. And usually, you know, every morning we come in, I'll be like, morning, Sienna. And she's like, hi, Kyle. I don't she talk. was dead silent the entire <laughs> afternoon <laughs> until the final whistle blew. Yes. And, I mean, I don't remember if you were wearing a Chief shirt, but all, of a, not. all of a sudden, I just see... Well, I, I had mean, it in my car. Yeah, for, she was ready. In case, but yeah. And then I know, I know, Lynn Lynn Kawano also has a Chiefs hat on her desk too. So that's emergency fandom, yeah. just in case. <laughs> but no, yeah, I, I I feel that. I remember a couple times when Seattle had a big game, or mm-hmm. or if like yeah, I would be watching a game at work. I'd be in my little sports corner just. Yeah. Slamming the desk a little bit. Just, yeah, the anxiety of it. I know. Um, we're going to have to have, I mean, if you guys keep going far, we're going to have to have you and Auntie Lynn back on I the mean, podcast. Oh, that was and, uh, fun. Like, just like ready. last year again. Yeah. We just will we'll record it this time. Yeah, we'll, we're, we'll make sure to yeah. record it. Someone else can press the record yeah, button. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Drew, last, last time we had yeah. them on, I forgot to press record on the oh, so yeah, on the recording. So, uh, Are you recording yeah. right now? <laughs> yes, we, yeah, we, we double uh, check. Uh, we yeah, we're, we're still good. We're okay. still good. The yeah. lost Drew episode. <laughs> That's me crying. <laughs> <laughs> Clip it, folks. Clip it. Um, another uh, talking about the Kelseys. We will talk a little bit about Jason Kelsey and me and Davis's former offensive lineman. He is a legend. He is a goat. Yeah. Um, he uh, went with the Philadelphia Eagles to Tampa Bay. Played the Bucks. They did not come out victorious. And a lot of the shots, obviously, they're interviewing Baker and talking to the Bucks after the win, but a lot of the cutaway shots were of Kelsey just kind of looking yeah. around the stadium, kind of leaving fans to speculate whether or not this was the last time he'd be suiting up um, in the NFL. Um, and then I think there were a couple reports saying that he did tell the team he was retiring, yeah. but on the New Heights podcast that he does with Travis, the um, we're coming for that number one sports podcast spot. We by are, the way. yeah, we'll get Kelsey there. Kelsey Brothers, he... Um, said that he hasn't officially retired and he's still kind of seeing where his football future will go. But I mean, what a run if it is if it is. It. I mean, one of the greatest offensive linemen to ever play the game is safe to say. I mean, the amount of Pro Bowl uh, games that he's been at and you know just everything he's done in his career have made him one of the best. So. It'll be yeah, crazy. I mean, yeah, I guess we'll have to sad. wait and see if he does yeah. retire. I can't imagine him playing any longer. Not I mean, like no, you know, nothing towards him. It's just like his body must right. be worn. Yeah, right. and he's got a family, and right. maybe he wants he to does. spend more time with his he, daughters. And yeah. he's also the brother of the guy that Taylor Swift is dating. Oh. Yes, yeah, it's yeah. true. Yes, <laughs> yeah, that's what he's known for. Every all roads lead back to Taylor Swift, guys. Oh. I, Six I really, degrees of Taylor Swift. Yeah, God, I would love out. to be the Kelsey fan. I mean, that's like free Taylor Swift concerts. I mean, you guys oh. know how much those tickets are going for? That's I, like too no, much. I would love too to, much. but it's just do we we don't actually think they're going to last, right? The Chiefs? No. Oh, oh, wait, no. oh, oh sorry. <laughs> Tavis. <laughs> Tavis. <laughs> Drew out of nowhere. Oh from from so left actually, field. I actually think the Chiefs are going to win against the Bills this weekend. Okay. I, oh, you may not be. wow. I think, okay. Like I said, all roads lead back to Taylor. If we watch the games this weekend and I'm wrong. But I think the Chiefs are going to the Super Bowl again. I think. I saw your bracket and yeah, you did have the Chiefs. I had, it, was, it was Dallas, sure. Dallas, Dallas Chiefs. <laughs> Um, you had Dallas the, Chiefs. Dallas <laughs> Chiefs. <laughs> oh. yeah. I appreciate that. I think from an outsider's perspective, I do think the Chiefs are the better team. It's just mm-hmm. me being anxious. Right. Mm-hmm. But I do think the Chiefs are better than the Bills. Yeah. yeah. Right. I um, you you guys don't think Travis and Taylor are gonna last? Uh, just. I think this is end game for her. I really do. I think this you is. Think? Really think yeah. it? I, oh. I I don't know. I'm still skeptical that this is a PR relationship. But, like, he, she's shown that it's not, but, you know, I mean, I know we've it. talked about it in past episodes that this is really just for PR, but... I think, okay, I think for a while I thought it was PR. I definitely don't anymore. I think they're mm-hmm. actually dating, but I think you can date somebody, especially, no offense, but, like, these football players, like, they're <laughs> not, ser- like, he's not serious, right? I, mean, I don't know. I'm sorry this I is brought a, the conversation. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, this is the best this part. Is every the single week we bring up Taylor episode. Swift. Yeah. Yeah, we bring this up every episode. I uh, mean, yeah. 
I don't know. I think they're I think they're serious, but I mean, if they do break up, I'm looking forward to that breakup song. <laughs> that album, I mean, the, dude, album, the album, the album, go album gonna go is going to be insane. Yeah. You guys see the amount of like you know songs that people have just started writing up. Like, oh yeah, oh, yeah this oh, yeah. is going to be the breakup yeah. song yep. that like yep. so Taylor uh, Taylor makes up. I mean, oh my gosh, all yeah. right, picture this. They break oh, up. Okay, all right, right wait, hold on, album. hold on. Okay, yeah. okay. I'm going to the tight shot of Drew. Here we go. Everybody look here. They break up. There's a uh, top of the charts Taylor Swift album. She goes on another tour just for this album after the Eras tour has ended. A couple of years down the line, the Chiefs are in the Super Bowl again. Taylor's the halftime. Oh, <laughs> that would be crazy. Battle of the exes? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. I mean, but also you don't get any bigger stage for two right. people yeah. right. in general. It's it, I, yeah. Would love that because obviously the Chiefs are in the Super Bowl, mm -hmm. <laughs> and then they lose. Yeah. Oh, no. whoa. <laughs> Taylor? So no. many shots from Drew. <laughs> when 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 you're at a foot when you're a football player playing in a game and your ex is there, yeah. he's gonna have the best statistical oh. night of his life. He's doing <laughs> Kobe Bryant 81 points. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Yeah. Like, okay. what's the, the meme from The Last Dance? He took that personal. He, yeah. he, he took it personal. personal. But also like, like. Imagine Taylor Swift being your ex. That's crazy you know to think I mean? about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, right. You could win a million Super Bowls in the world, and you're still not bigger than Taylor Swift. Right. Exactly. Yeah. It's just when all the all the the Swifties that don't know football were all like those that TikTok trend of like, <laughs> isn't it crazy that Taylor Swift put Travis Kelsey on the map <laughs> to like their boyfriends, <laughs> yeah. and they're like, he's one of the best tight ends in the league right now. <laughs> like, what do so you mean? So many of those videos. It, so it cracked me uh, up during a newscast. It was a weekend with, um, it was Jelani and I, we were talking about Taylor and Travis like right after they oh, started no. dating, uh -huh. like the weekend show. And I think right before the show ended, I went, isn't it crazy that Travis Kelsey put Taylor Swift on the map? <laughs> Drew, just stirring the <laughs> no, pot. I love that. Just stirring the pot. I love it, Drew. It's yeah. so true. From our perspective, like from a football right. fan perspective, mm -hmm. it's like, how do you guys not know that like Travis right. Kelsey yeah. right. exists? Right. Like, he is amazing. Yeah. Like, Hall of Famer right here. I always love the videos like of like of the dads recording their daughters watching oh, yeah. a football yeah. game. And He's like, this is the yeah. only time like yeah. I can get them to watch football with me. It's because of those cutaways yeah. of Taylor right, Swift. Right. That's all they look forward to. I honestly think that's a cool aspect. Like, it is cool. It is cool. Yeah. 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 It game, does. You know? It's quite funny because on totally Twitter, agree. these Swifties are going crazy for just like football stuff mm -hmm. now. And so I saw... Uh, a while ago, they were like some Swifties were tweeting about like the the turf. Oh yeah. And, like, <laughs> and so like basically people are like, if the Swifties can get the NFL to rule out turf, like I'm kind of in. That is true. Like, it's a movement. If the Swifties can get natural grass in yeah. every NFL stadium, I'm all for <laughs> That's it. That's what I'm saying. They're like evolving here. Yeah. They, they're they are a full army. They are a movement. I'd be scared, Roger. Yeah, Roger. You should be scared of them. They all and it's it's crazy because he's a pub like he's a public figure and the NFL offices are in New York so they know <laughs> where they could storm the NFL <laughs> headquarters in oh my their God, imagine. friendship bracelets <laughs> and ta like was it tinsel or tasseled like dress the yeah, yeah, dre yeah. Her, her look. like that's all Swifties to Kyle and friendship bracelets <laughs> yes. and tasseled yes. dress am I wrong though oh am I wrong though all right all right um, but going back to if they break up, I don't know. This isn't catching Kelsey, Travis Kelsey. He's a little bit more mature. <laughs> he's kind of a grown I think he's now. a little bit more mature. I really, honestly, hate to bring back the ex component, but I really liked him with his ex. Oh, um, Kayla. 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 Yeah. I like them together. They were together when the with the first Super Bowl, right? Yeah. Yeah. And she was like best friends with Brittany. Brittany. I just thought they were a good couple. Not like I. I, I, I feel like, like Taylor Swift is an upgrade, right? Or whoa. No. <laughs> And just I saying, no, I, <laughs> no. Damn, you took it personally. And like, she took that oh. personally. I think yes, on paper. On, on paper, like, yeah. That whole like story that like Kayla was basically being like, you don't pay for anything. Right, money. right, like, right. Because she didn't have her own money. I mean, that's true. That's true. But now, I mean, Taylor has Taylor money. Has I think, I think Taylor is uh, yeah, yeah a little bit richer than uh, Taylor has money Travis. to spare. 
I also love yeah. like the outlets. She could buy the Chiefs. She could. She could. She Actually, she, she could order. buy the she Chiefs. Yeah. Buy wow. Yeah. Imagine that. She buys the Chiefs. She's like Travis. You're mine. Like, you're mine the, forever. The and then they break up. <laughs> yeah, oh, that means. <laughs> and then she runs it into the ground. Yeah. And, or like, or she trades him. Mahomes. Trades yeah, him to the Cowboys. I feel like she wouldn't even. She would at least trade him to the Eagles. I mean, that's true. Get another Kelsey in Philly, but. Yeah. And then just name the perform like the Taylor Swift Athletic Performance Center, <laughs> yeah. like where they do training camp, the the ta- or or um, Taylor Swift Field at Arrowhead Stadium. Please. That'd be crazy. <laughs> um, oh all, man. All roads lead back to. All Swift. roads. They lead all back. do. They all do. Oh my God! But I, speak. Oh, sorry. sorry. No, go ahead. I go really ahead. am sorry that I derailed no, us. No, no. On a Taylor this is Swift. my favorite part. This yeah. is this is the best part we of the show. We don't have a rigid schedule on. Yeah, the we show. really don't. So we can, it's just we're. Uh, oh, yeah. we, we yeah. have right. we, just we have bullet talking. points. All right, but it, we don't have to go bullet point to bullet. All point. of these bullet points say Taylor Swift. <laughs> it's just that a picture. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, just a picture of Taylor Swift. That's what people. That's what people want. I mean. We could shake it up every now and again. Oh my God! But you know we Go can't on. shake it off. You know Go we can't. There you go. Yeah, yeah. there it is. Uh, good one, that Davis. was good. I was happy. I, was, I feel was good. Kind of a swifty, I he is. Low- well, I didn't want to say it because I said shake it off last episode. So I'm like, is it redundant to say no, it again? No. But you know. <laughs> Yeah, I think so. But you know what's not redundant? When I keep bringing up the sphere, guys. Oh so let's goodness. talk about the sphere really sphere. fast. So guys, if you haven't heard about the sphere, well, let me tell you about the sphere. It is in Las <laughs> Vegas. <laughs> I'm kidding, you guys. Like, let all... me tell you about the sphere. <laughs> let me tell you about it. No, I mean, we, we seem to talk about this every... I seem to talk about this every other episode. But guys, look at this. The sphere in Las Vegas, it, it's playing Tetris, guys. You know, what... Tetris. What are your what are your thoughts here? I mean, this is uh, celebrating the 40th anniversary of Tetris uh, on this day. I believe it was uh, two weeks ago. But uh, what a I mean, the sphere just ceases to amaze me. I mean, it's the uh, this guy sucks at Tetris. Yeah, it's yeah, this guy he really he really <laughs> does. The pro- is, programmer is not the yeah. best. I am <laughs> also not the biggest fan of Tetris. It drives me insane. I am too impatient for Tetris. Like. This is not a game, like, uh, this is a game of strategy, obviously, to get the lines and all that. But, like, sometimes when you click too much and then it gets too close to and then you just miss it, it's like, yeah, it's too much for me. I'm sorry, too. Isn't this such a big driving hazard? Like, you're I mean, driving and you're like, oh, is this guy going to, like, win? Is he going like, to, like, get it? He's, like, just watching. The whole time. I mean, wasn't that an issue when F1 was there? They had, like, the big emoji yeah. face and they're like, was watching and them. yeah. And it like weren't the drivers like I really don't want this <laughs> big yellow thing in my in my <laughs> peripherals when I'm driving at 110 miles an hour. But yeah. have you guys been to Vegas since this is? No, I have not. I have, but yeah. I haven't gone to visit it. I've seen it though yeah. because it's. Huge. Is it really like that it's trippy? It's huge. Yeah, yeah, even like from flying in on the plane. You oh, can see that's it. insane! Oh my god. You see the stadium, Allegiant, and uh-huh. that's like so much bigger. Like it's really? huge. Yeah. Oh my god. Well, I put this in too because you know, Drew, you're a big sphere. F- I, I've seen your graphics. Oh yeah. You have, uh, you have put the sphere yeah. in sphere some of your there. graphics. Oh yeah. What's your favorite spherical object? Oh, boy. Yeah. Uh, spherical object. <laughs> it could be, it could be the any sun. spherical. The sun. The sun. Different types of clouds, maybe. I don't. I don't know. He's a weather uh, person. Yeah. The solar system. Uh, baseball. I don't know. Okay, baseball. Oh, baseball. Shout out to the world champions, yeah. the Texas Rangers. Oh, there it is. Yeah, my, there it is. Football is my yeah. favorite sport, but like growing up, I was a baseball kid. Like my yeah, entire room was this. decorated with like Texas Rangers. Okay. Players, so. Hey, one team got you a World Series. I was hoping it would the be other both. One? I, would yeah. hope, I was hoping for both this year, but that did not. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. It's unfortunate. That's yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Baseball. Baseball would be my favorite spherical object. I know Davis and I were talking about um, editing the sphere onto oh. the podcast. Okay. I could do that. If wait. You guys oh wait. wait what? Right, right where that desk is. Oh like, wait. Oh. Part of the Please digital do. Setup. Yeah. Wait a minute. If you're looking right there. Oh my god. Well, the sphere. Wait, oh my god. Wait. Is that the? Hold That's on. The sphere. What? Oh my gosh. How did it get there? Oh wow. Oh my god. True. What? Did it get there? I was not expecting oh. that. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. All right, say bye, everybody. Bye, Sphere. Bye, Sphere.
Oh man, I can't wait to see that. I can't wait to see yeah. that either. Yeah, That's yeah, gonna yeah. be so I'm sick. Excited to show you. I know. I like the Taylor Swift transitions. I think. You oh guys yeah. See, that was good. That. Yeah. That was this good. is a. There's a lot. We're we're she very yeah. There's that. there's a lot of yeah. There's a lot of good songs and names out there yeah, too. Yeah, a lot of, yeah, a lot of we, references. We, gonna, are you a Swiftie? Yeah, are you a Swiftie? I mean, I I I listen. Yeah. Oh, he is a Swiftie. You can always blame it on your girlfriend that like oh she was true. My girlfriend likes Taylor Swift less than I do like well, oh, oh. I, I'll I will wow. sit and talk with her about like you know I think Taylor Swift is cool like her being as popular as she yeah. is you know she it's interesting watching like the whole world be focused on her like conversations all the time yeah, uh -huh. yeah all yeah. roads lead back to T Swift and it's she's like no I think she's bland her music is boring <gasps> Oh, yeah. that's, that's my kind of girl right there. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. It's I, so bad. Like, wow, it, I'm kind of shocked. I like her. I like her music. I, I don't like actively listen to it. I like <laughs> Midnight's was good. I liked Midnight's. I listened to the 1980s. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. 1989. Uh, -huh. uh Taylor's version. Mm -hmm. um, of course, <laughs> of course. The only <laughs> version. The only, it's the only, the only, only version. version. Um, and I, I, I enjoyed all of it. This is, this is good stuff. You know. It's so yeah, bad. Yeah. I have like you know that Discover Weekly on Spotify. Uh -huh. Yeah, you know, like your Spotify oh, makes like yes. playlists uh -huh. and everything. So it has like a bunch of random songs on this one. And I think it mixes up the, some of my songs that I like too. Yeah. In it. And for some reason lately, there's always like my wife M Mel and I drive together, and every single day there's like a Taylor Swift song that pops up. I'm like, how did this get? On this playlist, like what the Someone heck? Like, that you like yeah, Dave and, then, was and Mel, Mel was always like, "It's because you guys are always talking about it." it like, it can listen to. Mm, oh that my. is true. Wait, is Ooh. Mel a Swiftie? Yeah, is she. A she Swiftie? is not a Swiftie. Well, she likes the. She does like the music, but not uh -huh. a hardcore Swiftie. Okay. She's more more BTS. I would oh, say. part of the yeah. BTS. Part army. of the BTS army. 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 That, that how, is, how do you guys feel about like? people who like go to the eras concert multiple times because <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I follow a couple of people on that's like Instagram. so much money that's a lot, <laughs> a lot of money, money. <laughs> that's thousands I've of dollars seen, i've seen that like i've literally seen that what, right. what's different right or or like just wait till it, like right now it's like on streaming right you can just watch the eras tour movie at home it's just like oh, yeah. I just, why like, i don't no, if I see if I had like money for only one kind of event, uh -huh. I'm always gonna be a, a sporting event for right, me. Like right. I'd rather just watch the yeah. Chiefs play. I can't think of an artist that I go see multiple times for like that much money. Yeah, that's that's kind of crazy. It's a I, little much. I'd say like if I had like money to go to one like concert, I like other like like Sienna said, like if I had the money to go to something, it would be like a Super Bowl or like a national championship, right? Like something sports um, or football rather. But like if it was a concert, like probably like maybe Bruno Mars, like a Bruno Mars concert would be sick. That would be pretty good. Um, otherwise, I don't really see the need to go to like concerts that are overly expensive. Especially like the Eras one, like it's you gotta get dressed up. Like, yeah, it is an event. Oh, yeah. It's not like we can go t-shirt and jeans. Let's just mm -hmm. go like rock mm -hmm. out at a concert. It's right. Like, yeah. These girls are wearing like full glitter prom <laughs> right. dresses. Right. With their friendship sure. bracelets. <laughs> the up to their elbows, like, yes. Yeah, no. I'm sure a lot of people wear uh, Kelsey jerseys now. Yes. To I'm sure. Yeah, 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 I'm yeah. sure. Yeah. I mean, hey, for a date night, though, where a guy has to like dress up with his girlfriend, he can just wear a Travis Kelsey jersey and, get away with and just it. get away yeah. with it. It was like the Halloween costumes. Yeah. Of, like, everybody just yeah. being yeah. Travis and Taylor. Didn't. <laughs> Unfortunately, yes. Lynn and her husband, Lynn and her husband, Lynn and her husband did that. That was so I good. I thought it was per pulled off perfectly. <laughs> was that was so was good. good. That was so funny. I love how into it her kids get too. Yeah, like, they love. They it. get but so into it. Their whole family now just like loves because they've never really been into Taylor Swift, and mm -hmm. now I'll be driving with them in the car, and all we listen to is Taylor Swift. <laughs> they love it. I like how Lynn's like just kind of accepting it at this point, right? Oh, Lynn like actively really likes it. See, we're on yeah. like different ends of the spectrum. Right. She loves that Taylor Swift is dating him and like the attention it brings because now all her friends who don't like football mm -hmm. are like into football. Right. Rather than me, I'm on the opposite end and I'm like, please go away. Like, please don't date Travis. Yeah. Like, I don't want any of my friends who don't watch football now into football mm -hmm. texting me about it. Like, please leave me alone. So what I, I, I'm hearing is that you're gatekeeping football. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes, Wholeheartedly. I yes, I am. Wholeheartedly, yes. yes. 100%. I, I, I love more than anything in this world to get the girlies into football. Yeah. I do. I want this movement to happen, just not because of a boy. 
Right? Right? <laughs> yeah, of that's boy. true. Right? Like, I want you, want you to no, be genuinely the way interested I did it in it. Was, like, yeah. my dad and I, this is that was our thing. Like, mm-hmm. we'd watch football and we'd like sit on the couch for like 17 hours and just talk about it all day mm-hmm. and watch those games on Sunday. Like, that's how I want people to get right, into it. Right. Or like, because you were introduced to it by a friend and mm-hmm. you got into it, but not. Because of Travis Kelsey. What That's if this true. is how you get into it, though? Like, what if Maybe. this is? What if they're Maybe. watching? They're like, "Oh, it's Taylor," and they're like, "Oh, this is kind of cool." This is kind of cool. Like, it's like okay. Yeah, like wow, the stuff in been. between the Taylor shots <laughs> is actually know, kind of interesting. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, wow, what did Travis just do? That's I, called a first down. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, learning. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I remember one of our our coworkers was like, "Football is so dramatic. Like, there's so much. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. You know who? Like." There's like so much drama, like who is team gonna win, or like, or like Sports. you know the the storylines of like getting into the playoffs, or or like in college football, like the transfer, transfer portal, portal, like yeah. there's so much drama. I'm like, yeah, it's the greatest reality show on it earth. Is. Yeah. Um, you just have to be into it. You just gotta know. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm, don't you agree, Drew? I would <laughs> totally agree. I, right? I, it's great. I, I I love football. I um, I probably I didn't grow like I said. I grew up baseball texas mm. rangers and i in high school i didn't watch very much football but once i got to college i got way more into it yeah and like oh since i've been paying attention over the past four or five years it's just like oh my gosh okay. so awesome yeah. but like i get the point you like you don't want people to just be watching it just because of taylor swift yeah, yeah. Kelsey. but i think it's cool to have like you know i don't want it to go the same way with like baseball baseball is the huge old right yeah. yeah you know everybody's like like I hate to use the Gen Z buzzword of gatekeeping again, <laughs> uh, but it's so like cool. everybody gatekeeps yeah. baseball, and baseball's not as popular as yeah. it used to be. Football overtook it. I think it's it's cool that we're bringing new people in at the same time. So I think the same can be said maybe about golf because golf for a long time was like an exclusive like yeah. certain people. <laughs> yeah. Are we doing snaps? I was doing the golf clap. No, that is a thing. That yeah. Yeah. But, you know what I mean, like. But, like, during COVID, everybody was, like, kind of getting into it. Now oh, it's, like, yeah. more accessible, I think, than ever. Mm-hmm. So, like, I, I agree with you on that. Yeah. Like, it, sports is for everyone. Yeah. Um, but Taylor Swift music is not for everyone. Oh. That's what it I'm hearing not. from certain people. I'm, I'm honestly more of an oldie I fan. Like, like I like her country I stuff. That's what, true. Okay, favorite album. Everybody go around the room. I don't, I don't <laughs> know favorite them by albums, album. honestly. Oh, I, yeah. like, I know them by songs. I like Fearless. Fearless? Mm-hmm. Okay, Davis, do you have an answer? I think 1989. I, I think that was a good one. I that's, think there was some solid yeah, songs that's in that. Mine. 1989 is my favorite. That's also probably one of the only ones I know too. But you know, that's Davis got that uh, got that uh, got that for Christmas for us. The CD. I did get that. Yeah, yeah. for for Christmas, I I got little CDs. That was awesome. Um, that was really it's more sweet. of like a desk kind of gift because no one has CD players yeah. anymore. So I tried to put it into my computer and it wouldn't play. I'm like, I kind of want to listen to Taylor Swift. That kind of that, that, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Putting yeah. that into the computer. All of a sudden, my computer crashes and they're like, "What did you do?" I was like, "I put in 1989." <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know what the name of the album is, but whichever one, it's probably one of her first ones that has, you know, Love Story, You Belong Me, um, Our Song. I don't like, know. That's like one of her I early ones. Yeah. I don't know the name of the album, but those are the songs that like I really enjoy because I'm, I'm a country music fan. I swear, my Discover Weekly is now <laughs> only going to be Taylor Swift we, after this, this yep. discussion. This is like, H&N Overtime with <laughs> Davis, Sienna, and Kyle and Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. <laughs> Exactly. The, we're gonna make a graphic for the when we're talking about them breaking yeah. up or something. The the segment's gonna be called love story. Oh, <laughs> oh cool. yes. That is good. I mean, the day they break up, we'll have Drew on again. Oh yeah. man, I'll be there. It's, it's, it's gonna be a live show. Break- we're gonna oh. cut cut in, oh. cut into the newscast. Breaking news. Get the push guys. alert, guys. Push I alert. Know. Everything. Get the push alert ready. Live on KGMB and KHNL <laughs> for that news. I know. Well, um, guys, I. I think we have to wrap it up. Drew has yeah. to get ready yeah, for his, uh, his forecast. Yeah. So I think this, yeah. I think this really is the end game. So Kyle, oh how about we? Uh, goodness. How about we wrap it up, Drew? Thank you again for yeah. joining us. Yeah. You are yeah. welcome, you. Back. I really, welcome back. Welcome back. I really enjoy all of the Taylor Swift talk. I know, like I feel like that dominated most of the. <laughs> yeah, show. That, that totally actually fine. took a lot more. Um, but. How about them Cowboys? Yes. There's always next year. And Gigum. Gigum X. Gigum X.
Come on, everybody. There you go. All right. Um, <laughs> what is it? And then Texas, UT is horns, horns up. Down. Oh. Horns, horns down. Horns, horns down. Um, and then our producer, uh, Jesse, went to... Uh, TCU. TCU. Yeah. TCU. Um, frogs up or something. Yeah, frogs. Some, this is yeah. cute. I can get Yeah, it's like the, the frog eyes. Yeah, it's the frog. My yeah. grandpa That's went to good. TCU. Oh, oh nice. Um, what, what other signs? Baylor's like the claw. Yeah. The All the te Texas uh, Tech, he's like guns up. Yep. That one's good. Uh, that's a good Mahomes. one. That's a good yeah. one. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the only Texas teams that matter. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> thanks again, Drew, for joining us. Um, and thank you guys for coming along this journey of an episode. <laughs> um, to listen to any of our other episodes, you can hit the Spotify, Apple Podcasts, wherever you get the rest of our H&N podcast. Be sure to check out the video version where you can see the beautiful pictures of Taylor Swift and yes. everything we've talked about today <laughs> on our YouTube channel, the H&N YouTube channel. And make sure you follow our H&N Overtime Instagram. We have a lot of fun stuff coming for that page for Sienna Pilton, Davis Pittner, Drew Davis. I'm Kyle Chenin. Thanks so much for listening and watching. Aloha. This podcast is sponsored by Happy Warrior Kava. Be a happy warrior. Drink, relax, and enjoy the strong and smooth taste of the best-selling kava in the islands. Happy Warrior Kava!